Turkey meat has long been a tradition on our plates for special occasions. Now, turkey is a year-round main course. You may have wondered where these birds come from. The answer is from eggs produced on turkey breeder farms. Because it is such a small segment of the poultry industry, turkey breeders are not well known, although it is a critically important step in the production of turkey meat. Turkey breeders produce high-quality fertile eggs that will be sent to the hatchery. Juvenile turkeys, known as poults, which hatch in approximately 28 days from these eggs, will become commercial turkeys to be sold in retail markets. Only the best turkeys are used for breeding. Careful genetic selection at the top of this pyramid ensures commercial turkeys inherit traits for efficient growth and high breast muscle yield, resulting in high quality meat. The genetics of these turkeys will affect thousands of commercial turkeys. Wild turkeys are a native species to North America, unlike their chicken counterparts, which originate from jungle fowl in Asia. After their discovery, they were later introduced to Europe. Turkey producers work hard to ensure their flocks remain healthy and productive. A biosecurity protocol aims to prevent diseases from entering their barns. Housing turkeys in closed barns prevent their contact with wild birds, which can carry disease and protects them from predators. If a producer has several barns with flocks of different ages, they will work in the barns in order from youngest to oldest. This way, younger flocks, which have less developed immune systems, will be less likely to be exposed to potential diseases. Before entering a turkey barn, clothing and footwear are changed along with stepping through a sanitizing boot dip. Visitors sign a logbook for the producer's records. Equipment is disinfected before entering barns. Turkey producers observe all-in, all-out management which involves an entire flock arriving on one day and the entire flock leaving later in production. Turkey poults are also vaccinated to prevent disease. They are vaccinated, counted, sexed, and sometimes beak trimmed at the hatchery before being delivered to farms. Beak trimming removes the sharp point of the beak, which improves the welfare of flocks by reducing feather pecking. Turkeys are separated based on sex by a method called vent sexing which involves examining the cloaca of day-old poults. Young poults are delivered to breeder farms from hatcheries and are placed in circular enclosures called brooding rings to prevent them from gathering in corners. With lots of space, feed, and water, the mortality of poults is kept at an acceptable level. Producers must be especially diligent during the first weeks of life or brooding phase to ensure the flock survives. In the first five days, Poults can be susceptible to starvation and dehydration. To prevent this, producers provide extra feed and water. Because the poults grow rapidly, they quickly outgrow the brooding rings after one to two weeks. The rings are then removed and the poults are allowed to move freely throughout the barn. They stay in this barn until the second stage of production, which is the breeding phase. Male and female breeder poults may be raised separately or together depending on the management style of the producer. Unlike broiler breeders which are mixed when they reach sexual maturity, the toms and hens will be kept separate during the breeding cycle. Efficient turkey reproduction requires considerable human intervention. How can you tell males and females apart in the barn? The physical appearance of males is much different than female. Males will have blue tinted skin on their heads and will grow faster than females. They also have different calls. Only toms gobble, the females make clicking noises. Turkeys are provided with clean, fresh water through an automated system. Turkey breeders are typically fed four different diets over their lifetime through an automated feeding system. The first is a high protein starter diet which has approximately 25% crude protein and it's given to the poults immediately upon arrival at the farm. The second is a grower diet which has a protein content of 15% and adequate energy to promote rapid growth. From the ages of 12 to 30 weeks, the second grower diet or holding diet is fed. This diet has a crude protein content that is extremely low, about 12% which acts to limit the growth to a steady rate that will allow birds to reach a target body weight just prior to photostimulation. 
which generally happens at 30 weeks of age. Slowing their natural growth rate improves the rate of egg laying later in life. The final diet, which is high in calcium, is fed when the hens start laying. Calcium is important for the proper formation of strong eggshells. Unlike broiler breeders, turkey hens are generally not feed restricted to limit growth. Although, toms may be given less feed so that their weight does not become unmanageable for semen collection. If toms eat as much as they want, they can reach up to 30 kilograms in weight or higher. Both the toms and hens are weighed regularly to ensure they reach the proper weight before they are photostimulated. Photostimulation is an increase in the number of hours of light. Turkeys are very sensitive to increasing light intensity. Increasing the day length around 30 weeks of age triggers developmental changes of puberty. Light traps are sometimes used on air inlets and exhaust fans to control the interior light environment by blocking any outside light. Just as increasing day length triggers sexual maturity, decreasing day length or day lengths that are too long can cause birds to stop laying. Hens are said to be photorefractory when they stop laying due to these reasons. The condition of photorefractoriness can be managed by raising poults on extremely short days before photostimulation and by continually lengthening the days during the lay period. Controlled lighting is one of the most effective tools producers have to influence the reproductive process in both males and females. Once they are photostimulated, breeder turkeys are kept on a strict lighting schedule to ensure optimal egg production. Turkeys absorb light through their skull, which stimulates photoreceptors in the brain. Light in the tom barn must also be carefully controlled to ensure maximum semen production. Too much light intensity can cause problems with male aggression. <laughs>